What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick up where we left off, we, under my General Generaldo Franco, are push continue our push against the United States and we are attacking the region of Niagara. Um, not close enough that the Quebec no actually the Quebec can't support us, but if the Quebec are in this region then they're gonna be in for some dodgy dealings because I'm going to attack them. But yes, we've drawn in this replacement, this reinforcement stack, but we've got overwhelming artillery and infantry, qualitative infantry support as well. Um, experienced troops, which will have the have the edge over the American forces. So let's fight. So I've done a check on where I'm in the campaign, and my Mexico needs, for this campaign, I need of regions. And I currently have 25, well, 24 after I lost Virginia. Was it Virginia? Pretty sure it's Virginia. Uh, it's 24 after lost Virginia, so I'm about 35, so I have to capture 10 more, so I'll probably either get stuck in, in Europe or in India. I'm not quite sure where yet. Um, hmm. So let's position... Position some artillery. Just my usual standard formation that seems to work. They've got a bit of a defilade behind that and behind that ridge if they elect to use it. And then I've got to be prepared to use these guys as a bit of a bit of a hedge. My flanking force is a bit of a hedge if any of the reinforcing troops come in from a funny angle, which they shouldn't. Frontiersmen, let's put them, put them up here on the high ground. They have no, they have no artillery, so I can afford to uh, pound them for a bit. The reinforcements do. Let's stretch you guys out a bit, and they are going to charge you most likely. So let's run you into square. Let's run you into square. Then have my cavalry sat here. Let's run you into square as well. Just to fill up this gap in case they try to, uh, they, they feel tempted to run through it. Do not feel any need to charge in, because we're in square formation. Ooh, these guys, however. So let's organise my artillery. Those guys can do with some support. Firstly, let's get these guys out of square. Pushing them, push them up. In a, we'll put them in a position to push up. Let's run my cavalry back. Even though these guys are looking like they're going to rout. Yeah, don't want to risk it. Let's move up this wing. So who are you? General's bodyguards, so don't advance you too keenly. And I've also got some the units of household cavalry out here as well. So I probably want you inboard. Inside, sorry. My main troops outside with my skirmishers ready to uh, to pick away to pick away any guys that are coming to flank. It's a colonial lighter here again. Kind of ignore them. Pivot this entire wing. The frontiersmen have been hit by General's bodyguard. To be expected, they're a nice squidgy unit right on the flank. Charge the colonial bodyguard if you want. So the Minutemen have come back. Move these guys to this bit. This a bit of a bluff behind my troops. These guys should win eventually. My grenadiers should wheel down the general's bodyguard and potentially kill the general. 
for my clonal line would fire. That would be wizard. Switch to round shot, pummel that square. So they're holding the minimum are holding are holding their own quite well. Now these mountain tribals here are gonna get picked apart by the superior accuracy of my frontiersmen. Let's make these guys fire on Units higher up the ridge, so they don't hit the backs of my men. Household cavalry coming in, you're a good target. Okay, preemptively drop these guys into square. Because you know what's going to be coming. Let's keep my frontiersmen firing away. Down one, one chap. Do not like the look of this. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. There you are. Okay, now they've charged. You can fire on. Now actually run you out of the way. Run my cavalry into the back of you. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get you back out of square. Try f start trying to fight your own. Get you out of square and hit this household cavalry in the rear. Because to try to take the ridge, I suppose. We're getting offensive, and my positioning isn't great, but. Yeah, if, if these guys are out, that's fair enough. They're, they are being exposed to huge amounts of fire, which. You would not otherwise expect them to do. Oh, there is actually like a little gully up here that can get. Oh, sweet. I don't know if they're trying, trying to charge me, but... If they aren't charging me, they're going to get a volley right in the face. Or the back. Whereas we as the Mexicans, we have the high ground. What are they? Tribal Auxiliary? Yeah. Fall back, move my guns. To be honest, these are oh, these are my howitzers They're still doing a good job. Okay, so these guys are going to pull back to fire onto this unit of, in of mercenaries as they push in. Ooh, Frontiersman. Run, 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 run. Try to get those guns up on this piece of high ground here. Probably in a better position. Okay, now the cavalry threat is eased. Let's run up. Come on, provide fire. We want to capture this ridge. That's what we want to do. So we can support these guys. A 
Okay, let's, let's move up. Mm, keep firing around, shot. You'll probably be safe from there. Okay, let's get my howitzers to support. Like more exposed infantry back here. Where's my cavalry? And you go for them. Okay, I've definitely not shift click that. Right click, shift right click. Good. Very much concentrating my firepower, but I'm a bit squished when it comes to deployment zones. Stretch you out there. Stretch. You guys out like so. Because where are the content of Marines? There they are. They're the laddos to watch out for. So I can get my. F Good, I'm getting the first shots off. Well, we're starting to get shots off. Some more fires on the mercenaries. Hitting the mercenaries, sending a unit of infantry. There we go. So this, these guys are dis disable their fire by rank. Let's retarget my. Well, they're probably going to get chewed up to a certain degree by them. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now the marines have fled, focused my howitzers and my artillery onto this separate unit of line. Just line, those, line these guys up here and they can walk. There you go, the colonial infantry versus the mercenary infantry. Oh, they got him. They got Jose. God, turn off my heart. turn off my foot artillery. Yeah, you better waver. Do you see how many people are lining up to shoot you? Like, effectively, as far as you care, as far as you can see. <laughs> That's it. There's no sense to chasing them down, because it's cap trying to capture a city. These will be my future citizens. Actually, where? Oh, nuts. Good, I was going to say. After all that, this creeping unit of rangers has done nothing consequential. End battle. Smashing. And provided a new threat axis for the AI to be concerned about the swines, the fools. 
But that is that. Thousand long, yeah, 3.7 to, 3.7, 3, 3.703 to 1. Exactly, I'll have you know. But yes, lovely, lovely win for us. Let's fix you. Let's replenish you. Oh, let's get some lovely, lovely goods on the... Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. I can see this guy, this unit of Marines under Winston Randolph. Being a devil. So let's get rid of the, the, the religious building. Let's upgrade some roads. Oh, how cute. You've got a church school. Everything needs to be going okay. I've checked. I've checked all these, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've checked all these. I've checked all these in the last part, sorry. Yeah, that's the army I lost under in Texas, but this army here under Herberto Delgado is on his way to revenge to avenge the troops lost. Um, they're going to hold there, I think, actually, rather than cross the river. That way we can at least provoke uh, an attack if someone tries to come the long way around. Don't like leaving money on the table, but I don't, there's not much need for it at the minute, so let's hit and turn. Nope, oh, my rakes are on the way. Are they going to go for... Yeah. Are they going to win, though? That's the question. Ooh, they've tried to flank around. Try an old style pincer movement. Raid away, my friends. Um, water is all of it. See how many I can kill. Not as many, but it's not as critical a loss as I thought it would be. I wouldn't be surprised if they finished them all off. But then again, they are cavalry, so. Ah, oh, they stopped me from... Do I want to intercept those? Of course I do. But yes, it looks as though the Americans are starting to lash out. They've they've, they've seen how they are being compressed into the map. <gasps> Please say this to be a British amphibious assault. No, you're still going to keep going back and forth. <gasps> the Quebecs have won. No, they didn't. Okay, it looked like a very, very damaged British stack, but I did not see a single Quebec flag. Critically. I didn't see any of those. There's no way Austria's going to let that go. Hmm. So I think the Americans might be going for Michigan. Why? Why would I? No. Who are you an enemies with? You're allied with Austria. Do you ask lots of our allies are allies? Actually, I'm only allied with the, the Marathas. Mm, no. Because I don't want fire in advance. And I don't want to give you all that money. Because while I don't need it, I sure as hell don't want you having it. I very much play by the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean rules. Take what you can. Give nothing back. Genoese have taken Tangier. For farming in this region. Yeah, no, don't bother building farmland. So these guys have driven west. So they've left Virginia exposed, which I will gobble up. Chomp. Replenish. I can get my cavalry out of dodge. So I can also move this guy to siege Albany. This army that's being built. If I bring you over here too. Could probably fight. Even though they got lots of artillery, it's probably going to be junk. You're being replenished. Don't do any investment yet because I know what's going to happen. Fleet arrives. So there's no... There's no unhappy people, but I can still do this. So if it develops, I've got a fleet in the region to kick up a fuss. And then you've come over here. 
Hello, Russia. How are you doing? Chomp. Chomp. For now, sit on the trade spot. That's when my fleet of brigs comes into the mix. Uh, sail around the American ship. And then let's get a... Build another set of brigs, although they're running out of recruitment space, so... Ooh, these would be cheaper brigs as well. But they can only build one a turn. Still, let's keep them pumping them out. Ooh, actually no! Oh, nuts! I've been doing entirely the wrong thing. Should we talk about Indian or not galleons? Could probably. F okay, let's do one, two. Let's have you doing a stacks of Indiamen. You doing stacks of galleons. Galleons will take longer, but they're more fighty. God, I should have been doing that from. Well, I have been, I just, I just forgot. Not that I want that army of brigs to be destroyed, but if they did, it would tidy it up nicely. I build a gunnery school because there's a chance I want to keep hold of Lisbon. There we go. You like me now, don't you? Giving you jobs, employment, security. So Mr. Lowe's... Panama, got school, we got the weaver's cottage, some roads, army board, you need metal roads. And the, Mexico has the army board, and I think, well, apart from Royal Academy, Army Staff College. Trouble is, not that many. I mean, I've got some new units, but no. Like, I've used Fusilier, I've used Cal Calibara Presidential, and I've used but nothing else has really popped. Enemy raid. Yep. That's going to keep happening. I want to keep you ready because I want to see if their response is to. I'm trying to I might even just buy two units of militia just to fill up the gap. So, first job will be you, which is. Yeah, that's just a load of junk militia. more walls. The only thing means a bit more is to attack Hartford. Push you back over the bridge. Really start hemming the US in. Well that raiding force out in towards the Iroquois territory. Um, but you know it happens. Cool. So this is going to be an offensive mission. Uh, I don't have the artillery superiority, so I'm probably going to want to drop them here. Or at least my howitzers here, because they've got the range. No, my foot artillery, sorry, because they've got the range. Probably going to want to put my howitzers here. I'll leave some fusiliers to protect them, because they can also deploy stakes. And then, let's... Bring up the Wodge of Mexican line. My general's going to stay back too. So all their cavalry. Yeah, regiment of horse. So get my fusiliers to deploy stakes. Howitzers have done a devastating first volley. Wow. Howitzers plus my foot artillery have wiped out a unit of artillery all by themselves. Okay, let's make you walk, because they're being very nice. Even then I might do this. Be the threat. Make, force them to respond to you. 
Hessian line, line infantry, the 3rd, the 12th, the 6th, the 2nd regiment of horse, 2nd light horse. And the artillery keeps on coming in. No, it seems to have bugged down a bit, so let's just do halt firewall again. There we go. Even though it's pretty much not needed, I'm still just going to position them such that if the AI wanted to be frustrating, then they could be. Are they unlimbered or are they trying to move? Trying to move. Yeah, fair enough. See, this is why having such a large unit of fusiliers is handy, because look how long these stakes go out for my howitzers. They have to really go around... How it says it got lots of things in range. Ooh, we've destroyed that building, whatever it was. Looks like it was a, a stable or a hay storage stack or something. God, they look like they're going to charge my. Thought they were going to charge my artillery. No, they're going to charge my unit of line. Units of line who are now formed and ready. And who will not give a single solitary whiz about regiment of horse. So let's keep the guys who aren't imp impacted moving up. Yeah, break off. Okay, now in a slightly more aggressive tone, let's start running up the units to actually give fire through the village. These guys are going to be sort of isolated, and they're going to be running in at close range. But I need to provide fire. I need to start engaging them. I'm hoping with my. Okay, so where are you best positioned to shoot at? Probably. Ooh. So they are outgunned. The odds should slowly improve as these other units get into position. Although, to be honest, I might end up moving you over here. Nope. Oh. Charged by Union Force. Oh, are they going to charge me completely? Is this going to be a melee combat? That's just a. Yep, so this unit on the end is going to get hit by on two flanks. Let's keep my artillery firing at something. Let's get my grenadiers over here. They like a big scrap. Let's run you up to take out that unit of, of, of artillery. Hit the give the cavalry. So you say winning decisively, but there's significantly more of us than there are of you. Yeah. Another unit wavering, but to be honest, once I... Another unit wavering on the left.
So these guys, it's, it's, it's fair enough if they route because they are being attacked by a unit of horse. But there you go, this is what happens when you play the uh, the melee game, is that when a, fr when a flank breaks, you just have total and utter freedom to cause absolute carnage. Cavalry end up routing. I've still got well, a couple of oh, the unit, this routing unit came back. Let's get all my artillery to hit this unit of Hessian line. These guys are also being picked apart by my artillery, so. Yeah, that's fair enough. You guys got smashed. Mon General. May as well deploy Mon General to go once they make it past my troops, chase down that Union Fashion line. There we go, the Mexican army has made it through pretty unscathed. Unlike the American forces that will soon be in full retreat and will have mass muskets upon them in multiple directions. Get him! Hold my artillery fire. Oh, some shots are coming in because it's a bit late. It's the enemy captain killed. God, it's so noisy. the end of that. We've successfully kicked them out of our town. River bank to sit there and and to keep it blocked as a Mexican choke point. That would be the ideal goal. There you go, that's made them fall back. Keep you guys replenished and let's run you up to the bridge. Yeah, I know you didn't have the stones to stop me. Shield cream loads of line. Let's recruit two Three units of... Oh, actually, you might be... Some Frontiersmen. Oh, actually, what's cheaper? Frontiersmen. Yeah, Frontiersmen are cheaper. Recruit some Frontiersmen to... Oh, and, and Native Muskelmen to garrison my ports. And Boston's pretty unhappy with me, actually. So let's resent exempt you from tax. Cool. Well, that's gone pretty well. But, looking at the timer, I think we've reached the end of this part. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.